Just recently, Classic and Twin Shock Motocross lost one of their most iconic figures. Now, Ian Robertson was a larger than life figure who raced his motocross machines all over the UK, in Europe, and occasionally internationally. Now, in this short video, I'd like to pay tribute to a person who was one of my personal friends. Now, these particular pictures of Ian in his full-on Scottish regalia all came about at a time when I was writing a feature for the VMX magazine on Scottish twin shock motocross. Now, I was looking for subjects that could represent exactly what Scottish motocross was all about, and that was when Ian's name immediately propped up. I then suggested to Ian, you know what would be great, Ian? If you were to put your kilt on and your CU Jimmy hat, I could get a few pictures for the magazine. Aye, nae bother, came the reply from uh, Ian. I'm up for that. And so these pictures were the end result. Now this featured picture is Ian as part of the Scottish Classic Motocross Donations team which was held at the Bennett's Hill racetrack in Reading in uh, 2015. Now you'll be pretty hard pressed to find many photos of Ian not smiling and uh, these of course are just a couple of the many pictures of Ian doing what he did best and that was, of course, enjoying life. Another great picture of Ian here. This is, of course, with his old mate and uh, fellow racer Andy Malak taken at Farley Castle in 2012. But during his many years of racing, Ian received many trophies for his uh, motorcycle achievements. And uh, we can see him pictured here, of course, with racing legend uh, Mike Barnes as Ian receives yet another accolade for his motorcycle riding skills at the Thornhill Scramble back in 2016. But of course, racing wasn't everything for Ian. Uh, Ian also enjoyed the social side of the events. This is for all my friends in Texas. We're going to race down here in old southern England. Oh, so long. <laughs> Cheers, all my old friends at Davis. What about Crocs? <laughs> uh, Race the model, last one. This <laughs> 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 10 minutes. Uh, uh. What's that?
Still on. Stay off and stay off that pitching. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, shocks off for? They're fucked. Nee, yes. Oh! Fucking right, These ones are about as bad, probably. Oh, I don't see that, you? Yeah. Well. Oh, you can't get the wee in zone. No, the other ones, just different bushes in them, so I'll try these ones on it. We can, but try. I need all the help I can get. God loves a fucking truck. Oh, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, what are they? A fence post or something? These are ones that were just a fun line in the skip. No, 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 no. Of course, this will be one of the sights that uh, many of Ian's friends will be used to seeing on uh, <laughs> Scottish motorcycle racing social nights. Ian uh, living it up at a disco in his full-blown uh, Scottish regalia. But then again, Ian was never one for dressing down for these social nights and uh, he's kilt was uh, all part and parcel of Ian's persona when he was out there on the dance floor. But of course this is how many people will remember Ian laughing, joking and just having a bloody good time. Now everyone knows how handy Ian was on a motocross bike and he was pretty damn quick no matter what bike he was uh, riding at the time. Now Ian had ridden many different makes of bike during his racing career including uh, his old uh, Can-Am, a couple of Huskies and many other makes and models of bikes but his love was always for his Yamaha bikes but more specifically the two bikes he built for the 2019 racing season when Ian at this time was riding possibly the best he had ever ridden in his last few years. Now this next picture is Ian in action at Pow Mill on his uh, lovely CNG Honda 500 that uh, he built uh, from a frame. Now Ian also had this bike featured in the VMX magazine uh, a while back. And here we see Ian again on one of his uh, old uh, XT Yamahas at uh, Forfar a few years ago. But this next clip was to be Ian's last ever racing event at Craig Antlet in Ireland in June 2019. Now we have a green flag so it looks like uh, everything's just about good to go as the starter takes position. 15 second board is up. And we are away with the Twin Shock Grade D and Twin Shock Grade C class races. Good start there from uh, Callum Wilson and Ian Robertson in second and third position there. So as we look up the hill to pick up our race leader, looks like it's Ian Robertson, number 100, on the 360 CCYZ Yamaha, in second position. Number 100 there, that's Ian Robertson, who has now slipped down to fourth position. As they all now make their way up a very slippy and slidey Pearson Hill.
So as our race leader comes towards us, it looks like it's still number 212. It's uh, William Stevenson on the YZ. Looks like an old YZ465 Yamaha. Ian Robertson there now moving up into second position. In fact, he seems to have uh, had a bit of a spill. William Stevenson, uh, who has uh, dropped down the pecking order, but here is your new race leader once more. It's uh, number 100, Ian Robertson from Blairingon in Clackmannan in Scotland. Callum will get it safely back to the paddock after this race. But here's your race leader, number 100. It's Ian Robertson. Ian, of course, an HGV mechanic with uh, Falkirk Council in Scotland. Stevenson has now moved up into to second position as we wait for Ian Robertson to come up the hill and take the last lap flag. So it's Ian Robertson in first position. So as a race leader descends the hill for the final time in this twin shock class D and C class race. The race leader is still Ian Robertson on the 360cc YZ Yamaha. Track still very slippy at this stage due to the very heavy downpour during the night but uh, so as a race leader Ian Robertson comes round to take the chequered flag it's his first win of the day for Ian Robertson as you can see still very slidey to try and put the power down coming up that hill Now I had known Ian for almost 20 years uh, when I first started uh, frequenting the Scottish Twin Shock Scramble Club where Ian was uh, a racer at that particular club and uh, got to know Ian very well and uh, I'm going to miss his uh, cheerful banter and don't forget his uh, racing prowess on the track because uh, he was a very, very quick rider, Ian, on his day and uh, he just loved riding these old uh, Yamaha bikes. And here we see Ian on a borrowed uh, BAC which he rode at the uh, 2015 motocross The Nations in Reading. Now here's another picture of the great man with his pride and joy. This was his uh, C&J Honda that uh, was featured in the VMX magazine uh, a few years ago. And uh, here we see Ian in action at uh, Tinto Moto Park on one of his Yamahas at a Scottish Twin Shock event. Now this particular picture is unmistakably a wet and a muddy Danoon scramble when of course Ian did very well on his old bike. He conditions were not uh, a factor for Ian. He used to ride well in any kind of race conditions whether it was bone dry or soggy wet. Didn't make much uh, odds to the great man. Now in this uh, picture we see Ian unusually mounted on a Husqvarna machine with uh, James McLean and uh, Mike van der Meer also on his right hand side there. But this was mostly the kind of view that fellow racers were familiar with when Ian was on the racetrack as he was almost always at the front of the park and uh, as you can see he was pretty stylish 
with it as well. And now this is uh, Ian pictured at a very cold and muddy scramble at Finnevin in Forfa in uh, 2013. Ian pictured at uh, Farley Castle in 2013 with uh, the old uh, GoPro on. Ian was always uh, up for putting a camera on his bike. Many riders wouldn't think of putting a camera on them, but Ian was always up for uh, putting a camera on to uh, record his racing skills. And so, as you can glean from some of these pictures, Ian rode a very wide variety of machines, uh, including this uh, old borrowed BSA. Now, this was the 2019 Cumberland Grand National, which was held in Penrith on the 22nd of June now. This was only just hours after we all heard the news that uh, our number 100 racer had been tragically taken from us. Now the event organisers then decided that each and every rider who could beg, steal or even borrow a bike could take part in a lap of honour as a mark of respect for our great pal and fellow racer. Now Ian of course loved this Cumberland event and had been attending this meeting for many years before and was a shining light at the annual barn dance uh, each Saturday night. Now Ian was scheduled to race at this 2019 meeting so it was only fitting that everyone showed their support by taking part in this tribute procession to our very close and dear uh, classic racer.
Now, what can I say? I have lost a dear mate in Ian, and I'm sure many of you will also miss his enthusiasm and the laughter he brought along to each and everyone's lives. So all I can say is thanks, Ian, for letting us all share in your larger-than-life existence, and without doubt, we will all miss you, but we will never forget you. And to finish, using your own words, adios, amigo.